I'm Jamie Siebold. I'm one of the regional sales managers here at SPS, and we've invited Scott. We wanted to take some time to talk about the action reliever from Tuan. So my name is Scott Ulrich, product manager here at Tuan uh, USA. I've been with the company since we were acquired previously as Townsend. I've been here for about 18 years and I am primarily the, the knee product manager. Uh, I'm William Cox. I'm an ABC certified CPO. I do clinical education for uh, 2N USA and mostly on the West Coast. The Action Reliever is a soft force OA corrective brace that's available in both the medial and lateral and for left and right legs, so a universal application. What you have is it works off not quite a DFS strap or direct force system strapping, but a cross strap. So you run across that condyle area and pull it back into corrective force with the cross strap application. The great things about the action reliever though is the compression knit. It's not just your normal neoprene sleeve or anything else. It's compression knit, primarily knitted in the areas that is either gonna give you compression where needed, elasticity where needed, especially in that popliteal area where a lot of times things tend to bunch or accordion up. This is knitted well and tends to splay the fabric more so so you don't get that bunching in the back of the popliteal area. This is a great brace for the female population or the elderly. Got some really nice quick uh, lever application buckles. They're magnetic. They get close to each other and they physically clip and you hear an audible. It also has, it's coded in both 1851 for an off the shelf application and then 1843 for those customized fit purposes. And it also, it comes with, I have two models here. So one is without the thigh and tibia shells and the other one is with these moldable thigh and tibia shell removable. So what you can do is form, trim, and then reapply to really capture those forces and, and apply them as need be in the appropriate points, especially us under that custom fit code. Just a great product in itself, a nice price point. Why would I choose an action reliever over like a rubble reliever? Great in its own regard, but definitely a rigid application tends to be too much of a brace for some people, especially in that elderly population or the female population, just too much of a brace for those everyday activities of going to the grocery store or just working in the yard. So the action reliever is a, is a step down, gives you that soft sleeve application, but still those nice corrective forces that can be applied in the OA. I wanted to point out the clinical differences because first, when we came out with this uh, product, the action reliever, it was questionable in terms of its effectiveness, but we learned some key clinical points of differentiation with this product versus the Rebel. As Scott pointed out, there's many great features to it. It's a knitted product. Um, it does something that's pretty rare in the market. It provides medical grade compression. We noticed that in clinic, when patients are symptomatic with pain, they tend to benefit from that that compression because it disguises the pain and, and now they feel you know asymptomatic. But they're also getting a dynamic corrective force as opposed to a static force, which is one of the main points of differentiation with the, uh, the Rebel Reliever. So in essence, what they're getting is correction when they need it. So essentially when the knee is straight or when they're walking, the corrective force is being applied and the action reliever and when they're sitting, uh, it's not being applied. That's different, of course, from the Rebel Reliever, which applies a static corrective force throughout all range of motion at the knee. So whether they're standing or sitting, the Rebel Reliever is continuously working. Now, the advantage, of course, is how it targets the, the elderly population. They're probably more sensitive to correction. And so what they're getting is corrective forces when they need it most. And then so when they're sitting, they're sitting, of course, comfortably. And this tends to bode very well for you know elderly men and women alike. And so we've got a lot of momentum behind this product because it's become the most popular alternative uh, to rigid bracing, essentially. We have Sai in the room. Sai is an orthotist in the Chicagoland area. Sai, do you have any questions or thoughts around the action reliever? Come on, is, has it been out for a little bit already? I seem to remember putting one on it, and that was kind of neat. The, the issue really comes down to these types of things that are being dispensed right in a physician's office. It's simple to put on as long as you have strength to uh, in your hands. It's great. I got no complaints. Oh, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. You know, obviously from a sales perspective, we get a lot of feedback from practitioners. And I know that, you know, migration is always of concern. How, how did the action reliever address the, the migrating issues? So migration, because of the compressive nip factor, uh, tends to really suspend well. So one of our branches in the decision tree, kind of which way to go with our OA bracing is, can the patient put their own socks on or get down to ambulate to put their own socks on? And so the action reliever kind of steers you that way. If they are able to, then this is a great product for that. And because of the, the knit tends to suspend just 
just really well, even on those conical shaped legs that really grasps in those areas, as I mentioned, into the popliteal without accordion up or, or cinching up, so to speak, either riding up or riding down one or the other. It really works well in, in that regard. How, how long can you expect it to last? Yeah, good good point. So our, our warranty on, on a soft sleeve is, is primarily six months. The only time I've ever seen really returns coming back in is when you can tell they've done it in heavy usage where you can see abrasive rubs. But for those normal wear or anything else, in that regard, then right. it holds up well. Soft Force OA, which is it's available in our, our neoprene old style, you know, Soft right. Force type braces without alluding or, or preluding too much to it. We're in the works of trying to work towards that same type of application process for this action because all our parent company for the European style, they tend to be smaller. And here in you know the States, we tend to be more conical or bigger. So that thigh portion sometimes needs an open application. So we know that it's not for everyone in that regard, but we are working there because we really feel that this is a solid product. And even with that type of application process, we could really encompass the whole population. There's a couple of features too that's on that product. You uh, mentioned donning the device and then suspension. It does have a neat feature where there's uh, like pull tabs that are kind of like integrated as part of the design. So the trim lines for the device has like basically two ears on the medial lateral side for them to, you know, ap apply like a three point prehension to pull up. The action reliever has the the hybridized fibers that includes the, the silicone, right? It does it at certain points on it. So in those areas where it needs, like in the, the femoral hollows, simple answer, yes. Okay. Yeah. So this is anatomically knitted. So it accentuates normal anatomy of the knee. So that's opposed to cylindrical devices that, you know, don't have that intelligence built in. So what's interesting is that you'll, you'll notice the design and the stitching in the back of popliteal space is of a different design orientation. And that is part of the intelligence that's built into the design. And so essentially it's gonna stretch in areas where the knee flexes and stretching normally occurs, but the knit uh, reflects that. And so the design is really representing the ways in which the fabric is meant to move with the anatomy of the knee. And that's what's unique and special. So there's a lot of consideration that goes into how the fibers are oriented and the way in which it stretches. So as you can see on the sleeve here, I'm pointing at the, the diamond popliteal area. And you, you can see that that's a different knit. It's more of a vertical knit as opposed to the, the bulk of the sleeve over here, which is your, your compressive knit. It's got many different knits along the surface area. And to speak to Will's point, that's what it's doing there. So there's a lot of different knit. Thanks, Scott. That looks good. So anything else that you want to add around the, the action reliever? Just to kind of reiterate the points we've already spoken about, the action reliever is, is a great uh, solution brace for those people that come in for, for mild to moderate OA instabilities that aren't real keen on bracing or, or some tend to shy away from bracing. You know, if you can get them into something that they're happy with, that can can solve the things that, that they're having issues with, then it's a win-win. I'll add one quick comment to, uh, to Scott's comments is the, the location of the corrective force strap. It's in a comfortable area to receive corrective pressure. So that's different than other braces on the market. That's super significant as it relates to comfort and compliance. Great, great point, Will. And if I can just point out one last thing, what Will spoke to is, is the center point of correction here. And it's staying in contact where it needs to correct the whole time with independent tracking systems. So you can really apply the corrective forces the way you need to, whether it's from the distal or proximal area or cinch one more so than the other, but yet you still keep your corrective force intact and consistent all the way through. So that's a, that's a great feature. I'm glad Will brought that up. What about, you know, can you share any patient feedback that you've heard or heard about that you could share? Yeah, so I have one. Uh, we have a, a marathon runner. He's an elderly guy that we've received where he would run half marathons all day long and he tend to wear uh, more rigid applications. He would be laid up for three to five days afterwards just from chafing, hitting the other leg. He was in more pain after the race, but it's just things he loved to do so much that he mm -hmm. couldn't give it up. Put him in an action reliever. He was able to get the corrective force that he needed, didn't have the pain after the race, and didn't even notice the brace was on. That was a great success story because we allowed the guy to still keep doing the things that he wanted to do and he's happy and again, user compliance. And from a, a user experience, 
would you recommend more of uh, skin contact or can they wear this over their like jeans yeah. or? Yeah, good point. I, probably for the, the male population, I would, I would tend to steer more of a skin contact because our, our pants or, or jeans don't tend to fit as close as uh, today's wear for the female population. Uh, but for men, I'd probably say skin contact is the best application. And then from a sizing aspect, you said it, they're universal? Left and right is, but you have to call up the compartment. So it would be medial or lateral. And then that's the difference of the setup on the cross strap to give you the force. Okay. And then the sizing range on the sleeves ranges from like one to seven in that circumference size range. So okay. um, pretty much like an extra small to a, to a double X. Well, Scott and Will, you know, I think our time's about up. Certainly appreciate your time. You know, appreciate the information that you're able to share. And uh, we look forward to uh, working with, with you and, and our customer base for sure. Sounds good, Jamie. Thank you. Thanks, yep, guys. Thanks Take again, care. Jamie.